Hi everybody and welcome to this week's assembly. Um, another busy week I expect for you in school and hopefully those of you at home with your remote learning. I hope everybody's well in your families and you're all keeping safe. Um, so people in school, I hope you know, you're working hard, keeping that growth mindset going and making that progress that you can do with the help of your, your grown-ups in your class. And those of you remote learning, well done to everybody who's taking part in doing their remote learning, keeping up to speed. It's going to be so important for when you do come back to school. The government, unfortunately, have delayed that. We were all hoping that after half term, everybody would be able to come back to school. But this week, the government have said that that can't happen in order to keep everybody safe. So they've delayed that for another couple of weeks at the moment, up till the 8th of March, which is two weeks after half term. So we really hope that we'll be back to a bit more normality then and back in school, but we will have to wait and see. The government will make a decision nearer the time about that. So last week in our assembly, we were thinking very much about confidence and um, I was telling you all around about the I'm just going to share my screen because I was telling you all about my experience when I had to be confident when we were doing the peak assault challenge and I had to go and ask people we didn't know to borrow their, you know and I was worried before I asked them whether I would be you know they would think I was silly or we were stupid because we hadn't brought one in ourselves but actually by asking we managed to get a tin and we could open our tin so we could have our food so it worked out well and that was the right time to ask and even though I didn't know those people and I was a bit nervous it worked out well and our confidence poster which are all around the school and you can see on the screen helps to remind us about the things that we're trying to get better at trying to develop our confidence and make sure that we are becoming confident individuals just like our school aim says so I want to think a bit more about that question about knowing when to uh, get support from others. The very last bullet point on our poster. And we all need to do that. Sometimes it might be simple when we were growing up and we couldn't tie our shoelaces. We would ask, have to ask somebody to help us tie it. Or maybe we can't read a word in a book and we need a little bit of help to get us to be able to read that word so we can understand the story and enjoy it. And maybe it could be when you're doing a maths problem, you're trying to solve a maths problem and you've worked at it quite hard for two, three or five minutes and you just can't seem to see the way into it and you might ask for help. And then somebody around you will be able to give you that help, help do your shoelace up, help you read that word or help point you in the right direction about answering that question um, on the maths problem. Today, I wanted to think about another character. And this character is also somebody who learned that it was a sensible thing to ask for help at the right time. Whatever are you doing, Sandy? Asked Howard the hair. Howard the hare was passing Sandy's cottage and he quietly walked in. In the middle of the room, S -S Sandy the squirrel was stood, staring up at the ceiling, thinking and thinking and making some thinking noises. Hmm. Oh. In his hand, he had a paintbrush, a big paintbrush, and next to him on the floor was a great big pot of yellow paint. Oh, what? said Sandy. I didn't hear you come in, Howard. Well, how the hair, how the hair stood there? Sandy looked at him. Well, Howard, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to brighten up my house. I'm going to paint the whole house from the ceiling to the floor in the brightest, sunniest yellow I can find. And here it is. He showed him the pot of paint and the paintbrush. 
Well, Howard knew Sandy very well. And Sandy the squirrel was one of those people that when he has an idea in his head, there's no way you're going to change it. He was not going to be swayed. So Howard thoughtfully said, Sandy, this is, a, this is going to be a great idea. Your house will look so bright. But you've never painted a house before. Um, would you like me to give you some help? Well, Sandy the squirrel looked at Howard and his face started to screw up and look a bit cross. And Howard wasn't expecting what happened next. What do you mean I need, uh, need help? Don't you think I can do anything on my own? Said Sandy the squirrel. Of course I can do it on my own. Now, just, just, just go. Just be off with you. Of course I can do this. Well, Howard could see Sandy the squirrel was quite cross. So quickly took his leave and scuttled out the door of the cottage, leaving Sandy with his paintbrush and his pot of paint. About a week later, Howard the Hare was hopping through the forest and he came up past Sandy's uh, Sandy's cottage. And as he walked past, or hopped past, he could hear some faint sobbing. It sounded like somebody crying. Well, Howard edged closer and listened. And he could definitely hear that somebody was crying. He went up and gently knocked on the door. And very soon, the door slowly opened, stood there in front of him, was a very sad and miserable looking squirrel. Not only that, he was covered in yellow paint from the top of his ears to the end of his bushy tail. <laughs> oh, he whimpered. Oh, I'm so pleased to see you, Howard. It's, oh, it's just been such a disaster. I don't know what, I don't know what went wrong. I've ended up in such a mess. Look at me, I'm covered in paint. Well, Howard did look. He looked a bit surprised because he'd never seen a yellow squirrel before. Well, after he'd got over the shock of seeing Sandy covered in yellow paint, Howard said to him, look, Look, Sandy, of course I'll give you a hand. We'll get this place cleaned up and you cleaned up in no time at all. And we'll make sure your house is a beautiful, bright, sunny yellow. But you must never be frightened to ask somebody for help, especially me. I'm your friend and I would have helped. <laughs> yeah, I know, said said Sandy. I know and I really wish I had taken you up on the help you offered. And with that, they both set about clearing up the, the, the cottage. Sandy was pushed into the shower to clean off all the paint and then very soon they had it all looking spit and span. So like Sandy, who was a bit like me when I was on my camping peak assault, that I had to ask for help. He didn't ask for help and it got messier, but eventually he did and that helped him. And this week I've had the same thing again. This week when something on my mountain bike went wrong, the gears weren't working quite right and I thought to myself, well I'm going to be able to fix this. I'm going to have a go myself because it will be much less expensive than having to pay somebody to do it. So I tried to fix it. It didn't work. I ended up buying some new parts and fitting them to the bike myself, which was tricky, and I had to learn how to do that, but it's, it, it worked better, but it still wasn't working properly. I phoned a friend because I thought I'd ask him for some help, and he gave me some advice, which I tried, but it still didn't work as well as it could. The gears still didn't work. So eventually I have rung a mechanic and he's going to come and fix the bike for me. So it will cost me, unfortunately, a little bit more money, but I tried it myself, and I know now it was the time to ask somebody else for help.
So whenever you're doing your learning, whether it's maths or, or whether it's about keeping friendships and being, um, being able to play and share together, if you've got a problem, I hope that you will know when it is the right time to ask for help so that you can get the best results in whatever it is you're doing. So good luck with that and think, use that thinking brain to know when to ask for help. Have a great week, everybody. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.